Justin. I drive the True Temper Tour Trailer, and this week we're at the FedEx St. Jude Classic, and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how I build irons for tour players. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to prep the tip. I've got our new Dynamic Gold AMT, and I'm going to put this in a three iron. And I'm going to prep the tip, make sure I rough it up, basically so the glue bonds. The next thing I'm going to do after I've prepped the steel shaft is I'm going to make sure and get all any rust or any debris out of the head to make sure we get a good bond with the epoxy. I use a wire brush for my drill. Tap that really good and make sure the head's good and clean before we put the shaft in there. Now I'm going to put the, put the ferrule on the tip of the shaft and I've got my steel block down here and, I'm, and that will set the ferrule at the correct length. And once you hear that final tap there, I know the, the ferrule's at the right depth, so I'm going to go ahead, put it in my ruler, make sure everything's square. I've got my three iron length and I'm going to mark that. And next I would go over the cutting wheel and I'm going to cut this shaft to the proper three iron length. The next step I'm going to do after I've double checked my length after I cut the shaft is I'm going to grip the golf club because I like to grip first before I glue. This always ensures that my swing weight as I'm gluing the club is gonna be correct when it's finished. So I grip the golf club and the reason I do that is a lot of players, this specific player is only gonna use one wrap of tape, but a lot of players use buildup and that can change the overall swing weight of the golf club. So I always grip first, that way before I glue, I can check my dry swing weight and that judges on how much epoxy I might need to add to the club to get to the finished swing weight. So I just, he's using a Tour Velvet 58 round I just put a mark right where the end of the grip would go. Use the grip to judge how much tape to take off. Put it right there to the line. And I'm gonna roll it. A lot of guys put it on by hand. I like to roll it. That just ensures no creases. Put a couple drops of uh, odorless mineral spirits on here, that way the grip will slide on nice and straight. Give it a couple shakes to make sure all the grip inside gets some on it. Dribble some on there. Make sure I get to my line perfectly. That way, if you don't put a line on there, a lot of times the grip well, either it'll stretch too much and it'll thin the grip out and if you don't have a line also sometimes you won't put it on far enough and the grip will feel more bulky and out here on tour it's very important for the grip thickness to be accurate with players because they're very finicky about feel and grip so once I've got it on straight I just pound it on my block a couple times wipe off any excess mineral spirits and for the next step I'm going to show you how to dry swing weight the golf club and we'll see how much epoxy we need to add Alright, so we've got the grip on and I put it on the swing weight scale. This player here wants it to come out at D3, finish swing weight. So I had to add a little bit of weight to the head. I got it to D2 and a half dry, which is perfect for me. I'm going to add my epoxy to the head and that's going to add half a point to the swing weight, which comes out to D3. So now that I make sure I've got it to D2 and a half, I'm just going to go ahead and mix up some epoxy. Now we're 
right on the number D3. Let's take a little wipe here, wipe off any excess epoxy. Make sure and turn the graphics so they're in the back, grip straight. Set it up nice and vertical. Hold the head square, make sure the grip's on good and straight, and we let it dry for about 10 minutes. All right, so I'll come over and test the epoxy and make sure it's good and cured. Make sure the head's not gonna go anywhere. That's always a good thing, and I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna use the uh, ferrule belt instead of my sand belt I used to prep the tip. I'll put another softer belt on here to turn the ferrule. We're just gonna make sure all the edges are smooth, and then after that, we're gonna shine it down a little acetone and make it nice and pretty. So it's good and smooth. We'll just take our cloth here, put a little acetone on it, shine it up. Nice shiny ferrule. And the last step before we go to the range with the golf club is I always like to double check my loft and line, make sure it's what the player wants. Make sure it didn't move any whenever it was drying. Sometimes if it's sitting a funny way on the drying rack or on the floor, it can move a little bit upright or flat. Usually the loft isn't affected much. Get that good and tight. Clamp it down. 61. That's right where the player needs it. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is how I build golf clubs on a True Temper Tour trailer. We're going to take this to the range and see how she goes.